the Joe Rogan experience. Unbelievable. How talk to the mic there. <laughs> unbelievable how <laughs> he can work that foot. How do you feel about your son's impression of you? It's really good. <laughs> well, you know, he doesn't think it sounds like him at all. He doesn't. It's I mean, you give know, me something. Uh well, here I only know it because this is how he talks to me all the time. He'll always be like, um, hmm, JD, uh, what you, what you, what you doing today? You got work. Hmm? You got to go, uh, sit back and talk to all them people. Hi. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never. He, the, all, all the noises. You know, like he's, he's, he'd be, hey, you'd be perfect for ASMR. I, we should just make that type of stuff. Yeah. Like funny. him, him just breathing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was in line. I was in line uh, at the airport coming from. I think I was in uh, 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 St. Louis or something like that. And so I'm behind this lady. Anybody in line, but two, three people in front of her, and I'm behind her. So I'm I back there way making my little noise. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> she, she, she was back. She was like an old old Latino woman, Spanish woman. And she looked back, and she went back, back to look, looking forward. And then she, I said, <coughs> "Well, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I don't care, whatever." It's, you know, my, <laughs> she said, "You make a lot of noise." <laughs> wow. She said, she said, "You make a lot of noise, sir." <laughs> I said, I don't remember making any noise. That's funny. <laughs> you do. When you got in the car today, you, you got in the car and you... <laughs> I got to my, express myself. It's noises and noises and questions. Those are his, those are his, those are it. Like the moment you get in the car. Hey, right, so uh, how, how far we got to go to get to Joe? Hmm? We got, hmm? How far? <laughs> and then <laughs> we're driving 30 miles an hour. He's like, I think you're going a little fast. Don't you think? Going a, little <laughs> a, little, a little quick, a little quick on the, on the freeway. I'm like, we're, we're on the freeway. It's 60 miles. I'm going slow right now. <laughs> what, what is that? Uh, but no, his voice, his voice is just like one of many I, I've come across because I, cause I do voiceover and all that stuff. So it's one of those things where I'm, I'm lucky enough to have that one in my back pocket because sometimes I'll throw it out there and people that be like, I don't know. A lot of people do a John Witherspoon impression. It's interesting. That's a that's yeah. A we get some one. practice on it. Yeah, man. What it, it's got to be nice though seeing him get into show business, get into stand up. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I he's yeah. funny. He, <laughs> yeah, I don't. You he, know, I, um, I came from eleven kids, eleven kids, so. Hope you be successful. I'm gonna try my best to be successful. He's too and, busy and, counting and, his and coins to God, worry about my God career. Bless, <laughs> and God bless us. God bless us all. <laughs> You're on your own. Good luck. Pete, but, I mean, no, he's you know he's supportive, but he's yeah. one of those guys where. Uh, because I didn't want to do entertainment at all when I was younger. I wanted I wanted to do art. And when I was drawing, I used to go to college. And then I didn't know how to turn art into a career. So uh, one of my friends was like, why don't you try acting? You're always wasting time in class making us laugh. And I was like, oh, that's an interesting idea. So I started like doing commercial acting and whatnot. But uh, uh, I have friends who are comics. Like I don't usually bring up he's my dad. Like It's something mm -hmm. that just randomly happens usually. Like uh, And when that comes across, they're like, oh, that's crazy. So you got like a well of information in the sense of being a good comic and writing and this and that. I'm like, ah, not yet. <laughs> like, not that I don't, <laughs> but it's just asking him questions about stuff like that is the funniest stuff because he's just very, like like he just said, it's very, it's very flat out and just kind of like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, JD, uh, be funny. <laughs> like, they, How much more can you tell a guy though, really? Yeah, just yeah. you got, you just got to get your own, you know? We people were talking ask, about that last night. Yeah, people ask me, do you go to the clubs and look at your son and help him write? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no he, he, he doesn't. They, I've, I've featured for him, and uh, he doesn't watch my set. Like, I just go up, and I do my I do my time, and I come into the Korean room, and I'm like, hey, you ready to go? And he's like, oh, yeah, J.D., uh, they sound like they were laughing, so sound like you did all right. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man. You know? What is a father to do? <laughs> D do you ever didn't give do him any criticism or any uh -huh. uh, pointers or anything? Huh? You ever give him any pointers? Any tips? Better be funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one. I'm I'm on I'm usually the one I'm the one on the opposite spectrum giving him tips about uh like how he can 
how he can leverage like his you know his uh his notoriety in this day and age on the internet that's my thing oh. so it's one of those things where like if i have a question about stand-up i'll ask but he doesn't you know yeah you should definitely have a very <laughs> active social media yeah like we've I, I help him but run I, it so i it's, see um good yeah who's on there all the time kevin hart's always on there. always well, here's the and thing nail well, she's always on there. here's the yeah. thing literally creating his social media was just a fluke because one day like five or six or seven years ago someone trended that he passed away and because of that we had to create social media for him so when that happened he's calling me and I'm getting calls from random people who know him and also my cousins. Like, I got, I got family calling me crying. Like, is he okay? Is everything okay? And he called me and he's like, JD, uh, you, you got to help me. Uh, something, something wrong on the internet. They, they think I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's saying my, my, all, my, all my family is calling me and I, I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> so, oh. so we created him a Twitter that day. And then through Twitter, I told him, I'm like, well, just tell people you're around. And I, we tweeted out like, hey, y'all, this is the real John Witherspoon, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to those phonies making up <laughs> Them rumors because it was it was worldwide trending you know, or whatever wow. like hashtag RIP pops or something and then off of that his Twitter gained like 25k in like an hour <laughs> and then later on down the road he got into Instagram kind of randomly where he just uh he had an Instagram didn't really post and then I think one day you did you did just a random thing where he was ram. Yeah, he was, I talked to I talked to Megan and and, and what's the name in oh he, he was making he was making like a joke about like Bill Cosby. And whatnot, and he was like, I "Bill, can't that. mess around with them that does stuff, Bill, and whatever." But other social media platforms randomly found it, reposted it, and now he's like, he went from like six k to like one hundred and twenty. Yeah, got a lot of people following me. I just don't do anything. Yeah, he doesn't understand like how social media, you know, is like the future. But well, it's, it's I try to keep great- him in a loop. <laughs>